The Grammy Awards are set to pay tribute to Taylor Hawkins this Sunday after the Foo Fighters drummer's death at age 50 in Columbia shocked the world last week. And joining us now to remember the legendary drummer is former Bon Jovi guitarist and friend of our show, Richie Sambora. Good morning, Richie. We're so sorry for your loss. You were really good friends with him, oh, right? Oh, man. Yeah, we were, uh, you know, the Foos are just a legendary band. There were, uh, it's such a shame, obviously, because sometimes the perils of being in a rock and roll business can kill you. That's, you know, I was a lucky guy that I just didn't like any of that crap that much, so. You know, but Taylor was a great guy, an amazingly talented man, and they were one of the su most successful bands in the world for a very long time. And, you know, we find ourselves on vacation together, just crossing paths and stuff like that. And, right. You know, they were just a bunch of great guys, man. So well, it's going to be a loss, man. Yeah. I don't, you don't even know what to say. It's kind of beyond words, really, because mm -hmm. he was such a great guy. Well, they will have a tribute to him. And, and the talent, like, you know, really. Absolutely. Uh, there will be a tribute at the uh, Grammys. Foo Fighters were scheduled to perform before this happened, and now it's going to be all about him. Um, listen, Richie, all about you. About two weeks ago, I'm sure you saw... All about me. Uh, well, it is <laughs> with his booking today. Uh, you know, All right, that's, you know what, that's the amazing thing about being like in my position sometimes is that it's very uncomfortable because it is all about me sometimes, <laughs> you know, right? but that's, well, that's, that's, right. a, that's part of being of, uh, you know, successful or being right. well, Ainsley right. knows the almost feeling. famous or something. <laughs> sure, but a couple of weeks ago the video came out where these people in Odessa, Ukraine were, were bagging up sandbags. Uh, to protect their city from the Russians. And what were they listening to? They were listening to a song that you and Ron, uh, John Bon Jovi wrote, It's My Life. Yes, with also Max Martin, uh, Max a Martin. good friend of mine. Absolutely. And, um, How'd that make uh, you yeah, feel? It was a, well, here's the thing. It's a song that we wrote 22 years ago that was a, a massive hit because it just made fe everybody feel good. And when it it becomes a theme of like a country that is like fighting, and it's basically my country, man. There's a border right here, and I'm a Polak, full on. <laughs> and right over here is Ukraine. I could take a step that way, so I am Ukrainian, really. I'm a, you, you know what I mean? I feel so. Like you are. Saddened me, uh, you know, and not that their lifestyle was that good to begin with, you know. So it's just, uh, uh, I mean, it's inhumane. What's I mean, been going on? You don't even know what this is. Yeah, what's been going on, right? Um, and to see that you're Poland, where one generation, you know, a, a second generation here in America, and see Poland taking in about a million people from mm -hmm. the Ukrainians. Uh, that really hits home for you. No, they got 4.5. Yeah, they took a million. I think there's about 4.5 million refugees right now. And then mm -hmm. six and a half million people in the country that are displaced because it's a, they uh, are annihilating it. And um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not into killing. I, I don't want to see anybody get killed or anybody's life end. But this is, it's, it's a bit excessive, yeah. I would think. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, no. I know a, a lady I was talking to her. She's no. Polish. Your grandparents were Polish. They lived with you in, in your childhood home growing up, I think upstairs. And she That's said, right. if you go to the train station in Poland, families there have signs held up that say, I'll take three, I'll take four. They're, and she said she doesn't know anyone yeah. that is not taken in a family. You know what? Because in that area of the world, like, you know, the Slavic area of the world, I don't know, you know, exactly what you call it, like southern Russia, Slavic. Mm -hmm. um, everybody looks the same. You know, when I was watching the TV, uh, the Russian guys didn't know who to shoot because they looked like them. Mm. Right. And they were young guys. And I don't think they knew why they were actually fighting. Oh, my right. gosh. You know, you know, in their hearts. They didn't, they didn't, they yeah. didn't want to kill people, yeah, especially course. innocent people, children. Grandmothers, I mean, you know, yeah, hospitals, okay. people are sick. They're I mean, it, it, it's kind of, are, are we ready for a transition in this world right mm. now? Yeah. For God's sakes, people should, like, we, that has to be stopped somehow. Yeah. But I, I mean, how? Yeah, right. that's just because it, it, could, it could result in, you know, World War III. Yeah. Oh. So, Richie, we met. You no, were we on don't Fox want and that. Friends. No. 
we were on Fox and Friends together years ago at the Kentucky Derby. And here we are. It was so yeah. cold out there. I know I was like grabbing onto you the entire time. Your that friend Terry why. wrote me the other I day and said, it. I'm so sorry. It was so cold though. <laughs> I was wearing a coat after I was off the air. Um, but Don't worry. I enjoyed it. <laughs> we had so much fun. No events, whoever you're going out with a marriage. I, I enjoyed it. Thank you very much. <laughs> There's Terry. You're very pretty He's woman. your friend. And, Thank and you. And you're very smart. Thank you, Richie. Well, you are smart, too, and I admire you and love your music. And that was your friend, Terry. We had a lot of fun out there. I know you're going back this year, and you are going to take part in As the always. Brown Stable, the Barn Stable Brown uh, Derby Party. It's a gala, to, and all the money goes for diabetes research, which is wonderful. Tell us about that. Yeah, we're going to blow it out this year because we, could, well, we weren't able to do it for the last two years, really. And I did it for about seven years before that. All right. And well, uh, so, yeah, we're getting it ready. We're Excellent. getting it ready. It's going to be really, really good. And you know, obviously, I'm going to do It's My Life. You are? For well, sure. You know? Uh, Aaron oh, Rodgers is going to be there. Absolutely. Travis Tripp will be there. And Tom Brady is going to be there. All right. Richie, thank yeah, they're always there. Thank yeah, you, but, sir. But you're for, the attraction. Yeah, you are. Thank you very much. Maybe you'll come out of so retirement early. like Tom Brady did. <laughs> All right. Richie Zambora joining us uh, from I'm Los not in retirement, Angeles. Oh, you're not? No, he's not retired. All right. Good. Never. Do I have 30?